Hey y'all, hey, it's Tracy time. It's time for another wonderful session with me. Aren't you glad? I'm thrilled. Happy, happy, happy day. I hope that you are having the most amazing day ever. And I am because I get a chance to spend this time with you. And I also have another opportunity to bring you another person that I know makes Memphis better. Using the usual format, I'll tell you how I'm connected to the feature person for the day and then what was provided to me to share with you. Before we move any further, are you a member of the T-Row crew? You are? Thank you. If you aren't, you know what to do. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button now and then make sure that you like this video, make a comment and share it with everyone you know. I do uploads every day and I am thrilled for the month of July to bring you featured people in the Memphis area who I believe make Memphis better. I am, I'm not gonna wait. This person has a whole host of things that she does. And let me tell you that I met her, well first, wait, drum roll, drum roll. The featured person who makes Memphis better today is Kenya Bradshaw. Kenya Bradshaw, you make Memphis better. Now, I touched base with Kenya because I know that she makes Memphis better, but I wanted to make sure that I, with everyone that I reach out to, give them an opportunity to provide information to me, and then they don't know what part I'm sharing with you about how my connection is with them. And then that if, if by now I'm sure they've watched and followed, they understand the format that I'm using. But I wanted to touch base in uh, Sheriff Kenya today because she, first of all, believes in all things love. Like, can y'all see that? Like she's a proponent. Like I'm all about having things be joyful and awesome and amazing. And Kenya believes that there's a, a love connected to everything. So she and I met and initially clicked. We were introduced by Reverend Dr. Rosalind Nichols, gosh, maybe a year and a half ago. And we connected actually because Kenya, Kenya and I were friends on Facebook and she posted an article. And that was really what, that was the catalyst that ignited the flame for the idea that Roz Nichols had, Pastor Roz Nichols had about Red Table Talk. Um, and for Memphis Sister Friends, that's how it all started. Really Kenya was the, um, the art, posting that article was really what got that, that was the first domino. And so I am grateful because it's created another phenomenal platform for me to connect with other wonderful women in Memphis and the Shelby County area and to connect with other Red Table Talk uh, viewers and followers and fans of that uh, series. And so thank you for that, Kenya. You make Memphis better just for that. She makes Memphis better for a whole host of other things too. And so... I met her, we had a phenomenal time because once I read some of the things that she's doing on here, you'll understand. She hasn't had a chance to really even catch her breath. Gosh, I'm breathless. I was breathless just reading her bio and she gave me two. So I'm gonna read the, the, the shorter brief bio now and I'm gonna share the longer bio in the description because I want you to make sure you capture everything about Kenya. She's amazing, absolutely amazing. One of the things I can tell you I love most about her is that she has an opportunity to fly all over the world. She travels and she meets people who are icons in their industry, right? She meets and literally sits down and has conversations with them. She started out um, dr dressing. I think she had this opportunity to wear some clothes and or she was buying clothes from an online clother and gave them feedback and ended up being an ambassador for them. I mean, she just does all of these amazing, phenomenal things that literally are everyday amazing. And she's a Memphian. So that is how I know Kenya. And here's what Kenya shared with me. That is her brief bio. Her longer bio, as I said before, will be posted in the description. So here it is. As a Vice President of Policy and Government Affairs of Community Engagement with TNTP, Kenya works to ensure that all children have access to high quality education. Because of her leadership and can-do attitude, she has been selected to serve on numerous community boards, including the Girl Scouts of the Mid-South, Tennessee Pre-K State Advisory Council and Common Ground, a local racial reconciliation effort. 
She has served on the boards of the National Civil Rights Museum, Tennessee Center for Diabetes Prevention and Health Improvement Board, and is founding member of the EDLOC, Education Leaders of Color. And Kenya is also the co-owner of the international accessories business. Now, the gift wraps, okay, let's take a moment. If you don't know about the gift wraps, I need you to go to thegiftwraps.com. When I tell you that this is one of the main reasons that Kenya Bradshaw makes Memphis better. She, she has a partner too, but she's one of the co-founders. And uh, I, this is not at all to, to, to dispel or shade any light or dim any light on the co-founder. I, I hope that I'll get a chance to feature you as well. Um, for now, Kenya, they actually work with women from other countries, from Africa, and they make the fabric that makes the head wraps. And they use them as a resource to give them economic empowerment, not just for that area, but for the women. And then what that means, can you imagine what that means? Oh, okay. Go to giftwraps.com and learn more about that because it is powerful. I could have done the whole segment on that, but I wanna, wanna stay focused on what I'm talking about. Um, for Kenya. So Kenya is not just amazing, she's educated. Imagine that. And she's one of the first people in her family too to not only attend college but to finish. And did she finish? Yes, she did. She has received her BS in marketing in 2002 and then she got an MBA in 2003 from the University of Tennessee. Prior to becoming a partner at TNTP, she served as the Tennessee Edu Executive Director of Stand for Children. Prior to that, she worked for the Urban Child, excuse me, the Urban Child Institute, the University of Memphis, and the First Years Institute advocating on behalf of children and youth. She worked for the Shelby County Office of Early Childhood and Youth on creation of child impact statements, a tool that local governments utilize to ensure that every action that they take, that every action, that every action that they take is within the best interest of the student. And so for that and all that you do, for being a beacon of education in your family, for shedding the light and passing the baton to your family members that they too may achieve in their own personal pursuits and academic and otherwise, for the work that you do with the women of Africa and for the work that you do here to ensure that the children in our community are served to the best of their, for the, to the best that they deserve. You make Memphis better. I am grateful to know you, Kenya, and I am so happy to have this opportunity to shine some light well-deserved on you and your efforts. That's it, that's all. Whew. Please read her bio. She's phenomenal and know that you've got to go to gift wraps. They have beautiful, beautiful head wraps and they have them for children and they have them for adults in two sizes. And there's also amazing jewelry. Her gift shop is located in downtown Memphis in collaboration with some other small local businesses that I absolutely love the concept of the sharing and, and that concept of that community space where people can come together and then provide economic empowerment to several different companies in the community. Another reason you make Memphis better. Hello, somebody. Hello. So listen, if you didn't already, please subscribe, like this, and share it. And then make a comment. Who do you think makes Memphis better? Who do you think makes your own city better? I'm doing this for the city of Memphis, but who do you think makes the city that you live in better? Put the comments below. I'm interested in knowing. So that's it for now until tomorrow when I pres prescribe. I'm not a doctor. I can't prescribe anything. No, when I decide and design and share who makes Memphis better tomorrow. Is it you? Is it you? We'll see. So remember, until we connect again, make every day amazing and own your awesomeness.